Hello everyone! Welcome again to my YouTube channel. It's me, your breastfeeding and lactation consultant. Nandi dito na naman ay itong nurse ninyo na magbibigay sa inyo ng panibagong kaalaman on how to take care of yourself and your baby. So salamat, <coughs> excuse me, salamat sa mga bago kong subscribers at sa mga dati-dati ko pang mga subscribers. Maraming salamat for staying there. Uh, fi uh, following me in this journey, maraming salamat. At for some of you who haven't do anything yet on my YouTube channel, you can watch my video and you're gonna learn tons of information about your baby, about your pregnancy, being a mom, breastfeeding mom, about the teacher, about everything. So, everything goes with me. So, ngayon sa araw na to, uh, it's been a few few weeks na uh, busy sa holiday dahil uh, we traveled, then nag ng bahay. So, today, Last night lang ako nakapag-open uh, lahat ng mga messages ko, mga private messages ko about may mga tanong sa akin na sasagutin ko ngayon. Okay, isa-isa. So the first question that I've uh, asked, for one of the moms asked, sabi ng mom na to, kailan ba dapat i-introduce ang pacifier? Paggamit ng pacifier. Iyon ang unang tanong. When is the right time to give the baby the pacifier. So, ito ang sagot ko sa ganyan. So, a pacifier can be any, any size. But you know what? Sa dinami-dami is every time I tour around sa mga baby corners, sa mga gamit ng mga babies, makikita ko talaga yung sa dinami-dami ng mga shapes, ng mga sizes, mga colors, mga designs. Diyos ko, ang dami-dami-dami-dami shape and sizes ng pacifier talaga. Marami. So, you can pick and choose ngayon. The only thing that you have to remember, okay, to remember, na tandaan nyo pag namili, bumili kayo ng pacifier. Ay, tingnan nyo talaga yung shape ng pacifier. So, I don't know if you can really see the shape of this pacifier. Okay? Para siyang flat na, okay, I'll show you. Dito, dito yung nipple, bottle ng nipple. Ano? Ito naman yung nipple ng pacifier. So, it's, it's way different. See? So, Ganitong, ganitong sasabihin ko sa inyo. Pag bumili kayo ng pacifier, tandaan nyo, kung anong shape ng nipple natin, see? Our nipple is like this. So, kung anong shape ng nipple natin, as much as possible, na makakuha kayo ng almost same copy, kasing shape ng nipple natin, yun yung bilhin yung pacifier. Kung gusto nyo talagang gumamit ng pacifier. Dahil, pag bibili kayo ng pacifier na so different shape, tingnan mo, flat siya. It's, it's long, but it's flat. See? It's long and it's flat. So, kung bibili kayo ng pacifier na it's not the same as your, the shape of your nipple, baka, Pag time nyo na na mag kayo ni baby, ay hindi na papansin ni baby yung breast ninyo or yung breastfeeding nyo. Because nasa sanay si baby doon sa shape ng nipple nitong pacifier na to. Now, as I mentioned this one before in my previous videos, na itong pacifier na to, ito lang yung nakasave sa tulog ko when I had my baby. Dahil kuliki ang baby ko, iyakin ang baby ko. So, ito lang yung um, nakakasave ng shame ko pag nasa public ako na hindi nagwawala yung anak ko. Shit ka agad sa bibig. Um, pag when we're eating dinner sometimes sa mga sa mga restaurant o kaya sa mga fast food, pag iyak na yung baby ko, pacify ka agad. Yung time na yun, I wasn't a nurse yet. Nung time na yun, I wasn't a lactation consultant. Nung time na yun, hindi ko alam kung ano ang impact nitong pacifier doon sa breastfeeding. Now, when is the time to introduce it? Any time you want after pag fully established na yung milk mo. Why? Kasi ganito kasi, pag yung milk mo kasi, breast milk mo, hindi pa fully established. Meaning, kailangan pa ng more stimulation, more stimulation sa baby. 
Pag i-introduce mo ka agad yung pacifier, nadi-distract yung feeding pattern ni baby. Based on study, based on research, hindi yun based na alone, okay? Based on study, pacifier should be introduced until the milk supply is established and that's about two weeks after birth. Kung kailangan talaga. Okay? Pero as a nurse, as a lactation consultant, marami akong mga nanay na nakikita ko every time I check rooms to rooms na may mga pacifier na yung newborn nila. It is sad dahil kulang sa turo during prenatal class, mali din yung pagtuturo din ng minsan mga prenatal instructor siguro, kulang din sa kaalaman, kaya mali din yung ginagawa ng nanay. So, by the time you introduce this pacifier, pag nag-pacifier yung anak mo, yung baby mo, and hindi pa establish yung milk mo, instead na yung sakin na ginawa ni baby, imagine, imagine niyo lang, okay? When you're sitting there, and you're imagining itong baby na to, nagsasak siya ng pacifier niya for 30 minutes, na dapat yung sakin na yon dito, na stimulate yung breast. So, that 30 minutes of distraction is really affecting your mouth. Ang nangyayari, unti-unting bumababa yung gatas mo. Unti-unti ding nasisira yung feeding pattern ni baby because of the distraction from the pacifier. So, yun ang sagot. When is the right time to, get to, to start giving the pacifier? Based on the book about two weeks or when the milk is fully established, okay? Ang pacifier, based on research, ay nakaka-save ng sudden infant death syndrome, meaning seeds. Uh, seeds na yun normally happens during the third to fourth month of age for the baby. May mga baby bigla lang hindi huminga. And based on research, ang sabi, pacifier will help the baby to breathe properly, especially sa mga preterm. So, yan yung sagot sa unang tanong. Pangalawang tanong, ano ba ang dapat, uh, what is the right, uh, the right nipple to choose when using bottle feeding? Yun ang tanong. Okay. Anong dapat size ng nipple sa bottle when you use bottle feeding? So, ito yung nipple na um, I, I showed this one before. So, itong nipple na ito is a straight nipple. Okay? Makikita nyo, it's really round, it's shape. Hindi siya katulad ng nipple ng pacifier na ito na flat. Okay? Hindi. So, if you want to buy a nipple, a, 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 bo, a nipple for your bottle na nagpaplano ka, you're starting to go back to work, and dami mong gatas, you want your husband to feed the baby, or you want your mother-in-law or your lola, the lola to feed the baby, so kailangan mo ng bote. Always remember this, okay? Na pagbibili ka ng nipple, always remember this, straight nipple, Walang curb, walang patulis, walang flat, a straight nipple, a round nipple, and a soft texture. Soft, okay? The reason for that, lalo na sa mga preterm, kailangan ng mga preterm babies ang soft na nipple, okay? Yung mga maliliit na baby. When the baby gets older, mga 3 months, 4 months, kahit anong shape, ka kahit anong size or kahit anong texture na ng nipple na bilhin mo, either you're gonna go for the hard one, kaya na yan ni baby. Depende again sa, sa mechanism or sucking mechanism na baby daw. Kung mahina si baby talaga sa sucking, so you need uh, a nipple that is softer. So, ito lang talaga ang sinasabi ko sa inyo. Kung saan ako iikot-ikot sa mga baby section, sa mga mall, ang daming mga shape ng mga nipples. At sinasabi ng mga sales ladies sa inyo, itong bottle na ito, itong nipple na ito is anti-colic, anti-bloated, anti-anti, lahat ng anti sinasabi ng mga sales lady. But do you think they really know what they're saying? Are they lactation consultant? Are they trained on what this nipple affect the baby? So, be very careful. Huwag kayong pauto. Okay? I always use this word, pauto. Dahil marami talaga nang uto 
sa mga businesses para talaga they can they can benta it at people will buy it. So remember kung anong sinasabi ni Nurse Alona, buy a nipple that is a straight nipple, a soft nipple, and a slow flow. Okay? A slow flow. Because if it's too fast, lalo na pag mamaliit pa ang baby, sometimes mag aspirate sa baby or sometimes mahirapan sa baby mag-feed mag from the bottle. So again, watch my previous video on how to feed the baby bottle feeding. Marami kayong matututunan doon. And before I go today, there's another question. Kailan ba? <laughs> Itong question na natatawa ko kagabi. Kailan ba po pwede nang lumapit si Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Kawawa naman si Mister. Okay. Mga mamchi, mga mamchis pala, sa feeling ninyo kung kayo'y may sugat when you gave birth, kung may tahi kayo, kung second degree ba, third degree ba, fourth degree ba, o kung may cesarean kayo, kayo ang nakakalam when, when it is comfortable na pwedeng lumapit si Mister. Okay? When it is comfortable to be sweet again, to be loving again, Okay naman loving kahit hugging. So, you are the one who can tell yourself na, na, na nurse alone ready na ako. Hindi ako ang magsasabi sa inyo kung kailan kayo ang ready. Katanungin nyo ang sarili kung ready kayo. Kung hindi talaga ready, there's some other ways. Okay? Hindi ko nababanggitin. Okay? There's some other ways. Kaya, ask yourself first, kaya na ba to? <laughs> Mister, kaya na ba to? Pag sinabi mo sa sarili mo na, kaya ko na, so go for it. Pero pag hindi talaga kaya, and you're afraid na yung tahi mo, baka bubuka uli, it depends. May mga, may mga pasyente ako na minsan talaga bumuka uli. Okay? So, mag-ingat, mag-ingat talaga. So, there's, sabi ko na ito, okay, there are some positions that would really make it comfortable for you. Okay? Alam niya ni Mr. kung ano yung mga position na yon. So, just enjoy life. Kung ano yung mas komportable yun ang gawin nyo, just be careful. Uh, maintain hygiene talaga. That it's so easy for moms, lalo na pag, pag medyo bagong panganak na, to get infection down there. Lalo na, um, hindi natin alam kung may sugat pa, kung hindi pa totally heal talaga. So, be very careful. Mag proper hygiene, maghugas talaga proper cleanliness para maiwasan natin ang mga infection, okay? Bye for now. More questions, more answers to come. Thanks for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Marami kayong matututunan sa akin. Or there's smiley, uh, good things, happy things. Happy lang tayo kahit ganito ang buhay, okay? Bye for now. I'll see you more videos come. Please do your comments. I want to hear what your experience is. Uh, kung anong sabi ni Mr. <laughs> Bye for now. I'll see you more videos to come.